The expression from Chadwick around here is, we don't really grow plants, we grow the soil and the soil grows the plants. It's really about that reverence for soil. Sometimes you meet someone and instantly recognize a kindred spirit. When I met Oren Martin and we started to talk soil, I sensed it was a meeting of two fertile-minded minds. How many people can extol the virtues of lush, nutrient-rich leaf mold? That's another one that I love. Uh, leaf mold, if, uh, the joke around here, my joke is if I were stuck on an island and I could only have one fertility element, it would be leaf mold. Ah, yes. Elements like decomposed leaves help create the healthy, magnificent, life-giving soil I promoted from the very first episode of Gardening by the Yard. And that hasn't changed. Until you come to terms with the fact that soil is a living organism, you really won't get gardening in the way that you should. Many of my gardening principles are grounded on the beliefs of Alan Chadwick. Back in 1967, Chadwick founded this teaching garden here at UC Santa Cruz, and Oren Martin now manages it using the same earth-friendly techniques that Chadwick championed. With all due respect, this is, if I were scouting a place to locate a garden, this probably wouldn't even make the, <laughs> the list. Chadwick was, in addition to being a horticulturalist, he was a dramatist, he was an actor. We wanted to make a dramatic statement. He did that. On this site, with these wretched conditions, you can do all this. This garden is representative of French or biointensive gardening. What makes it intensive? Well, the density of the plantings, for one thing. You've got peppers here that are planted as intensively as I have ever seen peppers, I think. We've got five rows and 10 inches between uh, plants and rows. In a normal agricultural field situation, the same expanse, you might have one or two rows of plants. I think even in most home gardens, you wouldn't see yeah, more than three a, across in a 50-inch bed. Right. And remember, it's always about the soil. If you want a high-yielding garden, you've got to do a little groundwork. You can't just put plants closer together without right. all the other components of the system. Right. Deep digging, high-end fertilization, and a placement of the fertility through the whole depth of the soil. In French intensive gardening, a technique called double digging is used to achieve maximum results from minimal space. And the operative word here is intensive, as in labor intensive. Fortunately, Oren has an important necessity in the world of television, a body double. Meet Aaron. Now, Aaron isn't standing in for Oren because he's a few years younger and can do all the really hard work. No, it's because... He's a, an exquisite technician. He knows the ergonomics of how to dig, and that's a very important thing that you don't wreck your back in creating a, a fertile soil. So Oren and I will restrain ourselves from digging in and give this young pup a chance to show off his moves. Now, even if you don't have someone like Aaron around, remember, Double digging may be double the trouble, but it can yield quadruple the crops. Well, the first step is to outline the bed. How wide do you want your bed to be? It depends on who's gardening. You want to be able to comfortably reach the center of the bed for all your activities, thinning, cutting, harvesting, etc. Next, Aaron spreads a thin layer of compost over the area. During digging, this compost will filter through the layers of the soil. Aaron cuts the first trench, about a foot across and a foot deep and you remove that soil, put it in the wheelbarrow as we see here, and then we'll begin uh, fertilization. A little compost gets scattered in the bottom of the trench. Next comes the double part of double digging, when the soil in the deeper part of the trench gets broken up as well. Please note, no body double was used in my portion of the double digging. I do my own stunts. The idea is that when you finish, you've, you've got about a 24 plus inch run vertically that you've opened up fertilized, made uh, hospitable for plant roots to penetrate down, not horizontally, thus allowing you to put plants at a higher density and get a higher yield per area. And so we've spread compost, we've opened up a U trench, we've fertilized a little compost in the bottom of the trench, fractured that second depth of the soil, and now he's basically creating a new trench. This is called single digging or slide digging. He's sliding the soil forward to uh, fill the trench that was open and create a new trench. Orn and I managed to suppress our deep desire to get in and finish this job. We stand aside to let you, loyal viewer, learn from Aaron's perfect technique. Despite the fact that we've restrained ourselves from lending a hand, Aaron finishes quickly. Phew! Finally at the last trench. Your actual last step in the digging is we opened up this first trench and put the soil in a wheelbarrow and trundled it down there, and now it's going to go in to fill the last trench. Once Oren's digging double is actually done double digging, 
There are a couple more steps before this bed can be planted. It's called a tilting fork and the act is, is called tilting to break up those surface claws just a little bit to make a, a more amenable uh, planting bed here. The final steps are raking and shaping. How finely you rake depends on what you're planting. A fine direct seeded carrot needs to be very fine. A small transplant like a lettuce, less fine. A big transplant like a pepper, tomato can be a little coarser. Aaron does a final shaping, giving the bed a nice flat surface. Whew, that was backbreaking work, but I think we've all done a great job here. Well, Oren and I are bound to be exhausted after all this intensive labor, but it was worth it to show the importance of double digging. And I have an obligation to show my viewers the value of hard work. You know, even in the worst soils, you're still looking at no more than, say, a half day of digging, which I think... Max, yeah. You know, come on. We all need a little exercise. And while it may not be all that exciting to look at, this double-dug bed is the very foundation for productive, vital soil. And ultimately, these beautiful, bountiful flowers and vegetables. Take it from two like-minded, righteous dudes standing around, watching their body double, double dig. What's even cooler than a soft summer breeze? How about one of these hot tropical temptresses? Then, I'm tying the knot to prevent sickness and to promote good health.